and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a text group deformation effect. Let us first create some text. I'm going to be very creative here and use a lorem ipsum placeholder. You can change the font and the style up here. But I'm fine with this. I press Ctrl D and I'll control when I drag these copies downwards. Then I select them all. I go to object, align and distribute and use this function to align them. I don't want to have overlaps, so let me drag this one downwards holding control and I align it again, and that's fine. Make sure that all elements are selected, then go to path and use combine. You can see when we use the notes tool, we've got the individual notes, but no grid. And we can add a path effect. Just use this one, lattice deformation too. And now we cannot only see the notes, when we activate the notes tool, but also this grid. And this is what we need. If you get confused because of the notes, you can just deselect it, select it again, and then add the lattice deformation once more. And now we only see the grid when we activate the notes tool, and you can drag this around. For the inner nodes of the grid, or these inner points of the grid, you can also exceed the grid itself, and this creates this effect. Maybe you want to create a background, just use direct angle tool right here. Put it to the back, give it a different color. Make it bigger than your text, obviously. If you don't like what you've got, you can just select the text and use the notes to once more. The lattice deformation is still active. When you want to export it, it's a good idea to press Ctrl A to have it all selected. You can see that the bounding box of the text is now very big due to the deformation. So press Ctrl A and you can be sure to have it all selected and Ctrl G to group it. And then you can export this element. And this is how you can create this text group deformation effect in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.